A rectangular wireframe shown in figure has a width D, mass M, resistance R and is of very large length. A uniform magnetic field B exists to the left of the frame as shown. A constant force F is pushing the frame into the magnetic field at t equal to 0. We have to calculate the acceleration. Now one thing you have to understand here is that due to this force the frame the frame will move to the right hand side and due to which it will start entering into a magnetic field now due to which the change in magnetic field is observed so the EMF will be induced current will flow if current is flowing then the force will act on the rod and if the force is acting then the F net will be given by this force minus the force due to magnetic field fine now clearly that magnetic field is inside so the current that will be generated will be in downward direction so the force that will be acting on this rod will be left hand side sorry right hand side this is F magnetic now we have to calculate the velocity or we have to calculate the acceleration when the velocity is V now let's suppose at this very instant the velocity is V in this direction so the current in the rod or the EMF I should write the EMF that will be induced at this very instant will be given by B into V into D because the length of this rod is D and the current will be given by B V D by resistance now this is the current through the rod so the force magnetic will be given by magnetic field into the current that is BVD by R into length again so it will be D now on solving this I get B square V D square by R as my F magnetic substituting this value in above equation I have F net that can be written as mass into acceleration as F minus B square D square V by R so the acceleration that is coming out that will be equal to RF minus B square D square V by MR this is my answer for the first part in the second part I have to show that after some time the frame will move with a constant velocity till the home frame enters into the magnetic field so clearly if the frame is moving with a constant velocity so I can say that acceleration equal to 0 now substituting acceleration equal to 0 in this equation I have RF equal to B square D square V not obviously let's say this velocity is V naught the constant velocity at which acceleration is 0 so V naught comes out to be RF divided by B square D square that is my answer for the second part in the third case I have to show that the velocity at a time t is given by this so let's say acceleration is given to me as this now acceleration can be written as dv by dt so on rearranging this equation I have dv divided by rf minus b square d square v is equal to dt by mr I did nothing I just brought this term over here and dt over here so on integrating both sides time varies from 0 to t and of course initially the velocity is 0 so integration will be 0 to v so substituting the value or solving this integration we get integration as natural log of rf minus b square d square v whole divided by minus of b square d square is equal to t by mv the integral limit varies from 0 to v uh, this is my capital R this is also my capital R fine so substituting the limit we have natural log of rf minus b square d square v divided by rf is equal to minus b square d square t by 
m r now we know that uh, this equation on the arranging i get b square d square by r can be written as f by v not so using this equation i'll substitute this over here so i have natural log of 1 minus b square d square v by rf is equal to minus of f by m v not into t so on solving this get 1 minus b square d square by rf into v is equal to e to the power minus ft by mv not this term is uh, nothing but uh, v not so i get 1 minus v by v not as e to the power minus ft by mv not solving this i get velocity as v not into 1 minus e to the power minus ft by mv not that is my answer